plan books for my wood models are available at Amazon. The links are in the video description. Hello everyone, this is SG Debris, and welcome to the Wood Model Workshop. Today, we're going to talk about fixing mistakes. Specifically, fixing mistakes when you're cutting treads for a wood model toy. Let's get going. So I was cutting these treads for the inner wheel segments of a model loader that I'm working on. And I was cutting it four at a time because I was just cutting crosswise. I'm using 15 degree spacing on all of these, 15 degrees. And I got to a spot where I moved my jig to the wrong hole. So instead of the 15 degree spacing, I have got one spot here where there's 10 degrees here. And I swore it myself a couple times, but hey, you make mistakes, you gotta be able to fix them and move on. I don't wanna throw these out, I don't wanna redo them because they're perfectly good wheels. So instead what we're gonna do is take this little thin strip of walnut, I'm gonna shave it down to the correct thickness, and we are going to infill the four spots where there shouldn't be a groove. Okay, for starters, I've clamped these wheels together with everything aligned and with some spacers between the wheels because uh, I'm going to fix these all at the same time. And I've got my stick here, which will fit perfectly into the groove. Now it needs to fit into this groove right here, because honestly it would be just like me to accidentally glue it into this groove here and then still have the mistake and have to fix two mistakes at the same time. So I need to mark this one so I don't mess it up. So, I'm even going to double check my own work right here to make sure I'm putting it in the correct one. That is correct. Alright, so this is the one we're going to glue. I've got this stick here, and this has been shaved down so that the width fits perfectly into there. I'm just going to got a couple little burrs on these edges that I want to take off because I want it to sit nice and flat, flat down in there. And then after the glue dries, we'll cut it apart and then shave this to the correct height. All right, so let's glue that. I do want to get glue on all three sides of this, however. But only a little teeny bit, because I'm going to get some squeeze out, but that's okay. I can, I can work with that. Make sure that that is seated well into all the grooves, and it is. I think this looks pretty good. You can barely see it from the top. You can see it a little more from the edges, but you won't see that on the finished wheel anyway. So I'm happy with that repair. And here's what it looks like once I have the wheel discs all sanded and glued together. Oh, you can hardly tell it's there. I'm happy with that. Thanks for watching.